Hey y'all, today we have a Shimano TLD15. Uh, the complaint on this one is that when it's in drag or in drag mode, the uh, the drag is slipping. That's what the, uh, the that's what the customer said. And I've tested that out, and it slips indeed. <clears throat> and we can tell it's not the the cam <clears throat> or the lever. Uh, because it tightens properly, it feels it feels right. We also check it anyhow, just in case. But it's in strike mode, and you can see it's it's slipping. All right, so let's open this up. Uh, I'm not gonna take the handle off. <clears throat> We're just gonna go to the drag itself. And just kind of see what we find along the way. While I'm opening this up, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like the content, that like button as well. And be sure to tell your friends about the channel. Uh, and if you want to see how to break down uh, TLD, um, I have a video up of a TLD 20 and a 25. I'll put one of those up there. Uh, there, it's almost identical to this, except for a couple of pieces, or one piece here, and maybe a couple of other things inside. So this is not a breakdown video, even though you'll see what I'm doing here. This is more of just a diagnosis and repair. All right, so let's see what we have. <clears throat> I'm gonna set that to the side for a sec, and let's pull this spool out. That was kind of tight. Yeah, I don't like that. No, uh, that's I, I doubt that has any <clears throat> excuse me anything to do with the. Uh, what the customer is feeling, but I'm probably gonna loosen that up a little bit by shaving the inside there. It's going to be this part, but I just tested it there, and we can see that it's not the pin itself that's getting stuck or as tight, it's more the, the shaft. So I'm just gonna shave down inside there a little bit, not a whole lot, to free up the, uh, the play in this. <clears throat> All right, so let's let's open this drag up and see what it looks like inside. That looks fine. There's play in this, but there's play in pretty much all of these. It's seated properly. We know it's not the, the bearings or anything. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll check the... Uh, let's double check this just in case. That looks good. And that looks like it should be good as well. The only other thing I can check is probably the uh, main gear. And I think we found the problem anyhow. So that's what the is on either way. <coughs> if you look right there, you see the hole there? There should be a pin there. This main gear is actually like two pieces, just kind of um, know, pinned together or fusion together with a, with a pin that goes inside that hole somewhere. And we can check that by just trying to turn it. Well, we can't turn it that way. I don't want to mess up my glove. So if you notice right there, that's slipping. That hole is turning. Oh, 
Let's see if I have one of these so I can show you guys the difference. <clears throat> I'm gonna pause the camera and see if I have a, a gear on this so I can show you what the difference is. Okay, so I didn't have a, a new gear, but I did have another TLD I could pull the gear off of and show you what the difference looks like. See the little pin there? That's missing from this. So all we have to do is change this out. This is from a TLD 15. Uh, the question would be, where is that pin? Who knows? Actually, before I do this, I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna uh, open that hole up a little bit. Then I'm just gonna kind of do like a mini service on this and change this gear, and then we can test it out together to make sure that it works. All right, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so I, I opened the hole uh, very slightly on this. Uh, you don't want to open it too much because uh, you don't want a lot of play in there. So just be aware of that if you actually try to do that. I'm going to grease this uh, the ring and the clicker or the tongue. I'm also going to grease inside that hole there. Not a lot, just kind of coating it. There's not a whole lot on this uh, on this spool I'm going to touch. I'm actually not going to touch anything. So we're going to put this cover back on. Let's add some grease on the outside there. Add some grease there so I can put the pin in. So it doesn't get stuck. Now we just stick this back inside. Alright, so let's get to the part we came for. Let's take this old... Uh, or let's take this gear out. Just taking that cap off. We're just going to unscrew it. pin is though. Alright, it comes off like that. And then we have a wash under there. The bearings are all good, so we're going to leave that alone. So we're just going to wipe off or clean off the other parts. I'm going to set this gear to the side. Yes. You can probably see a little bit better there. The difference between the two. All right, let's go ahead and grease this up a little bit, as well as right here. And we're going to grease up this gear and the pinion gear. I grease around there, but I don't really grease the uh, the teeth on the ratchet. I also grease the shaft. 
Everything's just a light amount of grease. Now for the pinion. And if you know me, for some reason I like to grease the pinion more than the main gear. I still couldn't tell you why. All right, so I'm gonna stick that back on here. A little grease on that. Let's put this new gear back in. To get the dog in, you just simply angle it like this, hook it through the spring, and then rotate down to get it in. Before I do, I'm going to clean inside here off. Come on, stick some new grease in there too. Alright, so when you stick this main gear in, you're going to have to play with the dog to get it to seat properly. So we're just gonna flip the dog as we push down on this main gear to get it to drop. And you can test it to make sure it's working by doing that. Now we can stick this on and then get our cap on there. And this cap was tight, so you have to press onto this while you push that down. Now we can stick our handle on there. Make sure you hold on to that while you do it. Then we're gonna screw that on. Tighten this down now and get that cap on there. It looks about right. Alright, that's back on, now we can put this together and get the other parts on. What that's going to sit is that little curved end is going to match up with that, or thereabouts. Rotate the handle if it's not going down properly, because that means the main gear is blocking it from, from seating. And I'm going to fast forward through this part here. And now while I'm here, I'm going to clean these things up so we can put some new grease on them.
All right, let's go ahead and stick this ring on there. And then we'll put the lever on and test this reel out. To get the lever on, get your lever over the hole, pull over this um, ring there, push down, and then turn that knob towards free spool. Make sure you line this uh, scam up with the, uh, the grooves on the bottom there, and make sure it seats all the way down. screwed on and now comes the moment of truth to see if that actually uh well we know it did but still a moment of truth to see if it worked all right so there's free spool there's drag and now we're in business put too much drag on it and now we're in business oh my goodness it's hard let me get less drag on that now we have a functioning reel again with no skipping. All right, hope it helps some of you guys out there. Uh, please, don't, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the, uh, the content and that like button as well. All right, see you all next time.